Hello, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I uploaded. I've just had a crazy week. I had midterms and baseball games and all sorts of stuff going on. I did just want to sit down before the end of the month and tell you about my March Hell Yeses and Hell No products. I do have some for each of them. I have a lot of Tarte products this month. Um, that's because I ordered like two sample kits from Tarte. So I've been trying them out and I have some opinions. So let's just jump right into it. I don't really have a favorite primer this month because I'm still using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I think this was my favorite last month too. It's still my favorite, so nothing changed there. My favorite foundation this month is actually from Physicians Formula, and this is their Nude Wear foundation. And isn't this just like so pretty? And it does come with a pump. I'm in the shade Fair and Porcelain. I really, really do like this foundation. I'm wearing it today. It is cracking up a little bit on my nose and on like right here, but my skin has been up to something lately and has been particularly dry. So I'm not sure that I'm blaming that on this. I think it's just something going on with my skin. But this is definitely, I would say, like a very natural coverage. It is pretty luminous on my skin when I put it on. It is a little bit dewy. That kind of fades throughout wearing it. Um, it's definitely not full coverage, but I've had no problems adding like a second layer and building it up. I just, I really, really enjoy this. And it also has like a shaker. When you shake it up, there's like a ball in there that shakes it. I don't know. I just think that this is gorgeous. I think it really is nude wear, like it says. It's very comfortable. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying that. My next favorite is from Tarte, and this is the Tarte blush in the shade Parte. And this was my part of my birthday gift from Sephora. So I don't think that this is their full size blush, but it's a fairly good size for the sample. I do really like this blush. That's the color. So it is sort of a a brownish pink. It's not too pink. I think it's really, really pretty. I've been wearing this blush a lot lately and I love their little packaging. More from Tarte. This is a bronzer in the shade Park Ave Princess. And again, this is not a full size. This is, um, this is like plastic. I don't like this packaging as much as I like the other ones, but I know that if you get the full size of Park Ave Princess, it's a little bit nicer than this. I actually use this mostly for contouring, not for bronzing, because it is a cooler color. I am wearing this today just a little bit on my cheeks, just to add some color and some definition to my face. Really, really enjoying this. The next thing I want to talk about is also from Tarte. <laughs> this was the other part of my birthday gift. This is the Tartus lip paint. I think this one's in the shade birthday suit. I am wearing it right now and it's just a very, very pretty nude. This is in their matte line. I really, really enjoy this. It is matte and it did after a couple hours of wear start to dry up and get kind of uncomfortable on my mouth, but for the most part, it wasn't uncomfortable. I love the color. I love the applicator. I love the way that Tarte products smell. My favorite eyeshadow primer this month, I use this a lot actually, was the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Potion. I talk about this eyeshadow primer a lot and I've been back on it lately. So yeah, always a big fan of this. It really does keep my eyeshadow in place. Would highly recommend this. I don't have a favorite eyeshadow palette this month, but I do have a favorite eyeshadow. This is from ColourPop. It's part of the Hello Kitty line, which I actually think is disappearing. Like as we speak, if you want anything from the Hello Kitty line, I think this is like your last chance to get it. This is the shade Rainbow, and this is one of their glitter shimmers. So you wouldn't wear this as an eyeshadow like on its own. It really is just a glitter shimmer. And I use this on top of other shadows. If I just wanna add a little bit more sparkle or a little bit more glitter, I just pack it on with my finger and it just makes any eyeshadow so glittery, so pretty, but I've just, I'm in love with the shimmer on this eyeshadow. My favorite mascara this month was the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And I didn't like this a lot at first. Like I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. This is what the wand looks like. And I've used this uh, a couple times this month, but the last three days, this is what I've been using because I'm just in love with it. It does fan out my eyelashes. You can't tell a whole lot right now because of my black wing, but I think that it, it really fans them out. And it doesn't just fan them out the way that my e.l.f. mascara does, because you guys know I love the way that that makes my eyelashes look. 
This fans them out and adds volume. I really like the color of the tube. I really have like a sort of like rose gold pink thing going on right now. So this is a winner for me. I really like it. For eyebrows this month, I've been sort of getting away from like filling them in really, really like dark with a pencil but I've been using the Essence Make Me Brow along with the Benefit Gimme Brow because they're essentially the same thing. I'm just talking about this one instead because it's so much cheaper. I've been using this a lot and it does give my um, eyebrows sort of a, like a feathered look especially up at the front. It just doesn't fill them in as harsh as like a wax or a pomade or anything like that. It's also really really great when I have my morning class and I just don't have time or energy to like do my makeup the way that I want to do it. I'll just run this through my eyebrows really quickly just to add some color to them and this has just really been doing it for me lately. I think this is my last product from Tarte. So these are the Tarte Fresh Eyes waterproof eye removing pads. I love these. They smell like, or I think they're called runts those candies that are like banana shaped and there's like all different fruits. That's exactly what these smell like. They're very gentle on my eyes. They are like the perfect amount of like wet. They're not soaking wet, but they're not dried out. It does take makeup off of my eyes really well. I really, really love this. And I'm just like obsessed with Tarte's packaging. I just think that this is so cute. There only are 10 of these because I did get like a sampler from Tarte, but I really, really enjoy these and they're probably too expensive to justify buying again, like to exclusively take off my makeup, but I really enjoyed having them and I really enjoyed trying them out. They're part of their like gym bag essentials kit. So I could definitely see like why this would be something you wanted to throw in a gym bag, like if you were heading after work or something like that. Really enjoyed these. This is probably hands down my favorite product of the month. These are by Earth Therapeutics and these are green tea hydrogel under eye patches. And the idea is that you put them under your eyes like that. And I think there were five treatments in here and they smell amazing. Like I'm not gonna open it because I wanna use this again, but they come and they're little gel patches that you stick on and they smell just like cucumber and when I take them off, you leave them for like half an hour and when I take them off, I honestly can see a difference in my under eyes immediately. I thought that I was just getting wrinkles under my under eyes, but I just started drinking a lot of water, moisturizing and using something like this and my under eye area has been great ever since. These are, I think I bought these on Ulta's website for like $9 for five. So not really expensive, but not really cheap either. But skincare and eye care is something that I've been trying to invest a little bit more money in because it is important and it really makes a difference. But I have been absolutely obsessed with these. I, I'm gonna buy more. I know that I'm gonna buy more. I only have one treatment left, but absolutely obsessed with the Earth Therapeutics green tea under eye gels. And then my last thing was actually a sample I got with an ultra with an Ulta order. These are chia seed oil shampoos. I have the conditioner too by I think this is Hask. I tore off the yeah, I tore off the name. Everybody was saying that like this adds like volume and bounce to your hair and that it's really good for thin hair but not thick hair, but I have the thickest hair ever and I loved the way this made my hair look, the way it made my the hair smell and everything but what I loved about this more than anything was the smell like something about the smell just like transports me back to I went to spring training in Scottsdale Arizona years and years ago and something about like baseball spring training <laughs> something about the way that this smells just takes me back to that and I have no idea what I smelled in Arizona that smelled like chia seed but there's a car outside reflecting on my face right now. But I'm gonna probably buy the bigger size of the shampoo and the conditioner because it did add like a lot of shine to my hair and it did add volume. I I love it and this I just cannot get over that smell. I only have two Hell No products this month and one of them I sort of feel unfair calling it a Hell No because I really, I feel like I don't like this product because I had different expectations of it. Um, I still use it, it just doesn't do what I wanted it to do. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This is in the shade Precious Petals 
and it's gorgeous. Like this is absolutely gorgeous. It has a pretty design and I just thought that this highlight was going to be incredible. And it looks like it looks okay, but it really when you're putting it on with a brush, it just it's a very natural highlight. It's a really like a glow from within type highlight and I really thought that it was going to be more intense. I don't I don't know if that's because it says mega glow or if I just expected something different from it. I've been using it, but I've been using it on days where like I just want to put a little, like I don't have it on right now because it's not that intense. Um, I've been using it when I just want something light but glowy. So I've been using it for that, but it disappointed me um, in terms of my expectations. And for the name mega glow, I know that that's one of their lines, but I just don't think that that is accurate. And then my last hell no product of the month is actually from Tarte, so I didn't love everything that I got from Tarte. This is the Tarte Lifted Waterproof Mascara, and I was really excited because this is full size, and it's brown, and I don't have a brown mascara, so I was like, this is perfect. I get to try out a Tarte mascara, it's brown, but the problem with it is that it's just so clumpy on the wand. And you put it on and it just, it, it clumps your eyelashes together and it's getting everywhere and it's a big mess. It smells horrifying. Like all of Tarte's other products have this like wonderful smell. This one smells awful. And it's just, it's impossible to like really use well because it's just so, so clumpy. I did get it to work once. I just like kept trying to get the brush unclumped and really lightly I put it on my eyelashes but that's just like that's too much work and it didn't really wow me even after I had gotten it to not grab onto my eyelashes the way it was. So this is a pass for me which was really disappointing because again I love this packaging and I was really excited to try a Tarte mascara but this is a no for me. So that is it for my hell yeses and hell no products of March. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comment section what you've been loving in March or if you've been hating something, if you love something that I hate, if you hate something that I love. Let me know down below. I do promise that my giveaway is coming very soon. I'm just trying to get all of the products in my possession and they should be here very soon. So I am still doing that. I'm still going to announce it. Keep your eyes and ears peeled for that. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.